Hey everybody, it's the Redstone Wizard here again, doing another episode of the uh, Redstone Survival Guide. So, today, we've got, uh, I moved over to a uh, Mushroom Island, because I plan on doing uh, the major parts of the builds here. So, what I've got over here is a uh, lectern with the book on it. This lectern is going to be our uh, project book, so we can see what we're planning on doing and how we're going to end things like that. So let's take a look. In the first episode, we uh, I gathered a bunch of resources and we made an iron farm. Well, that technically it took me you know a few hours to do, but you can get it done within a few hours if you get lucky enough. Today, we're going to be working on a smelter because we need a lot more blocks. And, well, I don't, I like to have my stone and my smooth stone. My stone for my uh, repeaters and comparators. We also need cobblestone. And also, we do need, uh, if we do go mining, we need to get uh, a lot more uh, for things like iron, gold, the smeltables, copper. And then we're going to transfer our items from uh, from the uh, village to over here. And we're going to have a massive chest monster somewhere. See? It's starting. <laughs> yeah, but okay. In here, in these chests, I did smelt up a lot of charcoal. So that, we, uh, so that I don't have to wait for fuel. But I did gather everything we need. So, let's just pull all this out. Alright, so now the first thing is, get yourself, uh, have yourself a uh, design for a, fur uh, for a furnace array. Now, you could use a, a simple one where you have two uh, furnaces and a hopper. Two furnaces and a hopper. That works. But, now for me. Nope. We need faster bigger which makes it better <laughs> but you know actually that's not the point of it it's actually because I want to be able to pull out so many that we can okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen now the design that I'm actually using is a uh, modification, a modified Tango Tech synchronized furnace array. The only reason why it's modified is not because I am not putting the furnaces on top of there, but because his original design that he had didn't always work for bedrock. So. Yeah, we'll have to. I'll have to go get some uh, dim more diamonds, get some more levels. But we, uh, but we'll get uh, some uh, wrong spot for you. Yeah, and I'm doing this off of memory, and if I have to. I've got a little setup that's going to help me. So, but yeah, we're just going to work to get as many of uh, I'm going to cut here, and we'll just uh, time lapse me uh, building this. Okay, I will be right.
All right. So now, as you can see, it's actually a quite simple build. And I pretty much have it all built right now. Okay, yeah, and I might have to make some adjustments. Like I said, I was building this off of memory. So, only thing left to do is get uh, some furnaces on. Again, not furnaces, get... Let's get her... Let's get her chest on here. And there we go, that's now done. Okay, let's uh, get the fuel in there. Because the only thing left is actually here. I'm actually going to put these on a... a uh, I'm going to put uh, levers on this. Which is right here. Like I said, I had everything ready. And these will not interfere with any of the other systems. They're all individual based. There we go. Let's grab the fuel. This first chest is our build items. And the other one, and this one right here is for our fuel. So we'll throw all this charcoal in. This charcoal will actually fill in all of these. And when this is full with one in here, it will stop and lock the hopper there, preventing any other items from going in. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do a cut and I will get us some uh, resources to smelt. And we'll see how fast, and we'll see, and I'll show you guys how fast this thing actually does go. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do some wood. So we've got... 120 which if you do the math and this is why I did it uh, I got all that fuel in there oh okay oh well but yeah all we have to do is just uh, open this up throw them in and there we go and as as you can see as soon as it goes we're just looking at this one right now all of them are the same. And just uh, um, as you see, barely just before it popped out. So we will have exactly, we're not wasting any fuel here, which is very important, especially early game, because you want to make sure everything is as resource friendly as possible. So that's the whole point. We're just making sure it's all resource friendly. Uh, well, yeah, resource friendly. So we're going to smelt these up. And let's say I want to get some XP from them. All I have to do is lock it. And then just as soon as it finishes smelting, pull it out. I can throw this in here. And the reason why I decided to do it this way is so that each one is independent versus all linked to one line per se. So this is all linked, but it's all linked in from uh, each one I can pull out individually and not affect the other uh, other systems. And it's all shut off, so now we will be getting the... Uh, 120 120 we can take this charcoal and then just because we did bam now back here this line here is the sole purpose behind this line is just to lock that <laughs> it prevents the uh, items from uh, completely constantly cycling through so if once uh, once it says this needs fuel, this line will activate, turning that off and running the gambit, so to speak. Yeah, it just pretty much just continues going 
we can uh, set up a uh, indicator light saying, hey, we need fuel, we need things like that. You're running low on fuel. So, yeah, we can set that up later, but I don't have uh, all the resources needed for that. So, uh, we need to get the, uh, we need to build a portal over there. Do I have any more obsidian? No more obsidian. Okay, so I'm going to go grab myself some obsidian so that we can build a portal over there. Link it up and uh, be able to process and then just go through here and uh, walk over there. Back and forth, back and forth, make it so much easier. So I'll be back, guys, as soon as I can uh, get all that stuff I need. All right, guys, I'm back, and I did get absolutely everything over here. Got a few uh, extra chests. Made uh, another portal over by the iron farm, so that all I have to do is just run over there. If I need iron, I can AFK it. I decided to uh, cook up some uh, more potatoes for me because, well, I've got a lot. <laughs> I'm going to use... Uh, 45 coal, charcoal here, so that's going to be a good amount of processing. And, but, like I said, the uh, chess monster has started. Now, organization is uh, crucial when it comes to deal dealing with a lot of redstone. But we needed resources to be able to process it. I needed stone. And I don't have a fortune pick yet, so I have to use cobblestone. And for cobblestone, that's why we had to make the smelter. So, in the uh, next episode, I'm going to start working on a uh, automatic sorter. It might just be a simple, small little one just to be able to process the resources we have. Just some of them. And then have it, everything else like, oh... Still, chest monster, but it's going to be more useful in the long run if we can control what components we need to start out with. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys liked it, leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comments section. If it's a major issue, I recommend you join my Discord. Link to that will be in the description. If you want to support me, you can subscribe and join my Patreon. Link to that will be in the description. But you guys, this is the Redstone Wizard. Enjoy building.